Welcome to Bob Larson's Spiritual Freedom Conference. Willkommen zu Bob Larson's Spiritual Freedom Conference. My name is Pastor Greg Smith from the Würzburg Christian Serviceman Center. Mein Name ist Greg Smith von der Serviceman Center Gemeinde in Würzburg. And I'm glad to be here. Und ich bin froh hier zu sein. How about you? Wie geht's euch? Amen. Uh, most pastors, I believe, understand that there is a, a force that works against Christians and against our population because they can, they can see it, but they don't know exactly how to address it. And I believe um, that as we continue to bring the message to the people and, and hopefully to the pastors too, that they will um, desire to study and, and become more equipped so that they can minister more effectively to their people and to other people that come. Now, for those of you who don't know, Germany needs Jesus. Aber für diejenigen, die es nicht wissen, Deutschland braucht Jesus. Every place needs Jesus. Jeder Ort braucht Jesus. But especially Germany. Aber besonders Deutschland. Because of the history of this country. Wegen der Geschichte dieses Landes. It's how far Germany has come from where it was. Den ganzen Weg, den Deutschland gekommen ist, wo es hergekommen ist. Let me give you a couple of interesting statistics. Ich gebe euch mal ein paar interessante statistische Zahlen. In all of Germany, only 41% of people believe in God anymore. In Deutschland glauben nur noch 41% der Leute an Gott. Only 41%. Nur 41%. One third of all Germans believe in a higher spiritual force, but not God. Und ein Drittel aller Deutschen glauben in eine höhere geistliche Macht, aber nicht an Gott. They believe in paganism, witchcraft, the new age and the occult. Sie glauben an Heidentum, Hexerei, Satanismus und das Okkulte. The majority of Germans say this. Und die Mehrheit der Deutschen sagt folgendes. There is no God. Es gibt keinen Gott. Or there's some higher power. Aber da gibt's irgendwie nur so eine höhere Macht. Either way they are open to the devil. Und sie sind uh, sehr offen für Satan. One thing I've learned about Germans while I've been here, they are very orderly people, very structured people. They build great automobiles. I went to the Mercedes Museum. What a wonderful, magnificent place. Everything there is absolutely perfect. Great cars, great science, art, literature, wonderful culture. But I kept looking around for God. Where is God? God is in old buildings. God is in stained glass. God is in ancient monuments. The cars are modern. God isn't. The buildings are modern. But God isn't up to date. If they were building Mercedes and BMWs like they practice religion, nobody would buy them. This is the land of the Reformation. Das ist das Land der Reformation. The cradle, the birthplace of modern Christianity. Die Geburtsstätte der modernen Christenheit. And yet, only a third of the people go to church once a month. Und doch geht nur ein Drittel aller Leute einmal im Monat in die Kirche. Germany has forgotten God. Deutschland hat Gott vergessen. But the devil hasn't forgotten Germany. Aber Satan hat Deutschland nicht vergessen. Since reunification 15 years ago. Seit der Wiedervereinigung vor 15 Jahren. Witchcraft has increased four times in Germany. Hat sich die Hexerei vervierfacht in Deutschland. That's a tragedy. Das ist eine Tragik. And we are here to get a message across to Germany. Und wir sind hier, um wirklich eine Botschaft nach Deutschland zu bringen. That God is very much alive. Dass Gott sehr lebendig ist. And the power of God is very real. Und dass die Macht Gottes wirklich real ist. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I submit these people to you, God. Keep your eyes on me. Von Jesus Gebe ich dir diese in the name of the Father, Leute. the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I come against you, Satan, everything you've done in the lives of these people. Ich komme im Namen von Jesus All the gegen alles, was Satan getan hat, all den Schmerz, den er verursacht hat. I come against the spirit of fear. Ich komme gegen den Geist der Furcht. I come against unforgiveness and bitterness. 
Ich komme gegen Unvergebenheit und Bitterkeit. I come against anger and rage. Ich komme gegen Ärger und Wut. I come against death and suicide. Ich komme gegen Tod und Selbstmord. I come against spirits of infirmity and disease. Ich komme gegen Geister von Krankheit und Schwäche. And every one of you is subject to Christ. Und jeder von euch ist Jesus untertan. How, how do we fight demons? That's uh, something that Christ gave every believer the authority to do. And he said he gave us the authority over all evil. And that uh, we are to not be on the defensive, but we are to be on the offensive. That we can uh, you know, take on uh, demonic spirits and forces. Um, and that we can defeat them. That all Christians, no matter whether they're trained or not, they have the authority. It's just most Christians don't understand that. They don't know that. And instead of uh, being on an aggressive uh, and, and, and offensive side, they are usually defending themselves. And the, the message of deliverance is that we don't have to have that. And we can be, um, be warriors for Christ. Jesus took the devil very seriously. Jesus hat Satan sehr ernst genommen. I take Satan seriously. Ich nehme Satan ernst. And that's why I'm here tonight. Und deswegen bin ich da heute Abend. I'm here because I believe there's a devil. Weil ich bin hier, weil ich glaube, dass es Satan gibt. And Jesus said in John 10, 10, Und Jesus sagte in Johannes 10, 10, Satan comes to kill, steal, destroy. Satan kommt zu stehlen, zu töten und zu zerstören. And Jesus took Satan seriously. Und Jesus hat Satan ernst genommen. Satan, you must leave these people alone. Satan, du musst diese Leute loslassen. You must leave them alone. Du musst sie loslassen. You must leave them alone. Du musst sie loslassen. You can't keep them. Du kannst sie nicht behalten. You can't hang on to any part of their lives. Du kannst dich nicht an ihre Probleme Let them go. Lass sie gehen. 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 In Acts 10:38 it says this. In Apostelgeschichte 10:28 heißt es Jesus of Nazareth went about doing good. Jesus von Nazareth ist umhergegangen and healing all who were oppressed of the devil. Und hat alle geheilt, die von Satan bedrückt waren. That's what Jesus did. Das ist es, was Jesus tat. Jesus went around casting out demons. Jesus ist herumgegangen und hat Dämonen ausgetrieben. Most preachers in churches today go around avoiding demons. Und die meisten Prediger heutzutage gehen herum und and you know gehen den Dämonen aus dem Weg. Und ihr wisst, dass das die Wahrheit ist. How far we've come since the time of Christ. Wie weit sind wir gekommen seit den Zeiten Jesu? Most churches today never mention demons. Die meisten Gemeinden heutzutage erwähnen niemals Dämonen. But Jesus told us it was our job to cast out demons. Aber Jesus hat uns gelehrt, es ist unser Auftrag, Dämonen auszutreiben. Come against you, Satan, for everything you've ever done to this man. Ich komme gegen dich, Satan, für alles, was du getan Jesus, hast. I come against you for everything you've done to this man. All the pain and the hurt you've caused him. And in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I take the form of the Spirit against you. And I command in the name of Jesus, you leave him alone. You let him go. You let him go. You take your hand from his life by the authority of Jesus Christ. Now! You take your hand from his life. I go down deep where the hurt and where the pain is. I go down deep. Now just feel the hurt. Feel the hurt and feel the pain. I go down deep where that pain is. Deep where the pain is. And in the name of Jesus, Satan, you're going to leave this man alone. I speak the healing of Jesus Christ to him by the authority of Jesus. And I put the wrath and the judgment of God on you. In Jesus' name. Most every Christian has heard of what we call the Great Commission. Fast jeder Christ hat darüber gehört, dass es den großen Missionsbefehl gibt. The command to preach the gospel. Den Befehl, das Evangelium zu predigen. In Mark 16. In Markus 16. Every church in the world talks about it. Darüber redet die ganze Welt, jede Gemeinde in der Welt. They tell people this. Und sie lehren den Leuten Folgendes. Go into the world. Geh in die Welt. Preach the gospel to every creature. Predige das Evangelium jeder Kreatur. They say it over and over. Sie sagen es immer wieder. But they stop there. Aber sie hören da auf. The word of God goes on to say this. Aber das Wort Gottes geht weiter. He that believes and is baptized shall be saved. 
der der glaubt und getauft wird wird gerettet werden he who doesn't believe shall be condemned und wer nicht glaubt wird verdammt werden and these signs shall follow those who believe und diese zeichen werden denen folgen die glauben now notice this nimm das mal wahr christ is giving you a sign that is the proof of the gospel Jesus hat dir ein Zeichen gegeben, das der Beweis des Evangeliums ist. And what is the proof he gives? Was ist der Beweis, den er gibt? In my name you will cast out demons. In meinem Namen wirst du Dämonen austreiben. I divide soul and spirit. Ich teile and I divide him Seele from und Geist. In every part of his life that you are tormenting him, you're going to leave him. Do you understand me, Satan? You are going to leave this man. Verstehst du mich, Satan? And let du him go. Diesen Mann verlassen. Lass ihn gehen. And let him go. Lass ihn frei. By the authority of Christ. Durch die Autorität von Jesus. Don't you see? That is the very core of Christianity. Siehst du nicht, dass das das Herz, das Herzstück der Christenheit ist? Preach the gospel and cast out demons. Predige das Evangelium und treib Dämonen aus. It's the very first sign that Jesus gave us. Es ist das allererste Zeichen, das Jesus uns gegeben hat. To prove the gospel. Um das Evangelium zu erweisen und zu to beweisen. To prove his power. Um seine Macht zu beweisen. Now hear me carefully. Hört mir genau zu. You can't prove who Jesus is. Du kannst nicht beweisen, wer Jesus ist, unless you cast out demons. Außer du treibst Dämonen aus. That's what the word of God says. Das sagt das Wort Gottes. This is the proof. Das ist der Beweis. This is the sign. Das ist das Zeichen. People in general react to deliverance or exorcism in many different ways. Some people are searching. They're really recognizing something within them, a presence within them, or an evil that they can't explain and never have been able to. Or they look at their ancestry and say, wow, my grandfather's grandfather was an alcoholic. My grandfather was an alcoholic. My dad was an alcoholic. And they might say they have struggled with alcoholism and they don't know why. They might have their will that comes up against it and they just can't win. They keep getting beaten down and it's a force greater than them that they have to contend with. And you? Um, because I had a homosexual problem. You have what? A homosexual problem. How long have you struggled with it? Um, since I was 16 and 40 years. Like From 16 to 40? 24 years. Were you molested as a child? Yes. What age? At the age of 16 or 17, a Catholic priest slept with me. Who did it? Catholic sleep, a uh, priest. A priest sexually abused you? Yes. Would you agree with me on this? Aber stimmt ihr mit mir überein? That we are commanded to do what Jesus told his disciples to do. Das, un, das uns aufgetragen ist, das zu tun, was auch Jesus seinen Jüngern get, get, the instructions, uh, aufgetragen hat. Die instructions Die Befehle, die Jesus den Jüngern gegeben hat, sind auch unsere Befehle und Aufträge. We must do what he told them to do. Wir müssen tun, was er ihnen aufgetragen hat. So let's look at what he told them to do. So lass uns anschauen, was er uns aufgetragen hat zu tun. I draw your attention to the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 10. Matthäus, Kapitel 10. The first thing he told his disciples to do. Das Erste, was er seinen Jüngern aufgetragen hat. The first power that he gave them. Die erste Macht, die er ihnen gegeben hat. Was over evil spirits. War über böse Geister. What's your first name? Fight. Frank? Fight. Fight? Like fighting. Fight. V-E-I-T. Fight. Yes. Oil, please. And then the Bible. Look at me. I anoint you with oil. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I take the sword of the Spirit, and I divide soul and spirit. And I want that child that was molested to look at me. I divide, fight the adult from that child that was molested. I want that child to look at me. 
I'm sorry for what happened to you. You must be very angry and very ashamed by it. Especially because it was a man of God, not come against the religious curse. Most of you, your whole life, have been told something that's not true. Den meisten von euch wurde ihr ganzes Leben lang etwas erzählt, das nicht wahr ist. Are you ready to be shocked? Seid ihr bereit, geschockt zu werden? You were told. Ihr wurdet gelehrt. Jesus Christ came to earth to die for your sins. Jesus ist auf die Erde gekommen, um für deine Sünden zu sterben. The Bible doesn't say that. Aber die Bibel sagt das nicht. 1. John 3, 8. 1. Johannes 3, for Vers this reason, für diesen Grund, the Son of God has manifested. hat sich der Sohn Gottes offenbart. For this reason, Aus diesem Grund the Son of God has come to earth. ist der Sohn Gottes auf die Erde What gekommen. Does the Bible say? Was sagt die Bibel? To destroy the works of the devil. Um die Werke des Teufels zu zerstören. That's why Jesus came. Darum ist Jesus gekommen. Destroy the works of the devil. Um die Werke Satans Now, zu the zerstören. Lord a hand of that. Amen. Come on. And every Christian has that authority that Christ gave us. It's not a special gift. It's, it's, uh, it's to everyone. There are many special gifts that are given to the body. That, that assists the body, but the message of deliverance was given to every believer who has the Holy Spirit in them, and they are able to, to minister um, if they will allow themselves to be used. See, I renounce. I renounce. This curse of sexual abuse. This, <laughs> this curse of sexual abuse. This curse of sexual abuse. I renounce it. I renounce it. I break its curse on me. I break <laughs> I break its curse on me. I break its curse on me. In future generations. Future generations. I don't have to live under this curse. I don't have to live. I don't have to live under this curse. I break every soul tie. I break every soul tie. Every connection. Every connection. With that perverted priest who did it. With that perverted priest who did it. And the curse that he brought upon me. And the curse brought on me. I break it in Jesus name. I break it in Jesus name. And by the true blood of Christ. By the true blood of Jesus Christ. I am free from it. I am, <laughs> I am free from it. I am free from it. Well, I wouldn't call it crazy. I would call it just, it would bring into question the existence of good and evil. And I think it would be thrown in someone's face where they would have to say, hmm, This couldn't be acted. This couldn't be made up. Why would anyone act in such a way? Why would anyone have supernatural strength or speak in strange languages or put their bodies into contortions and to, and to act in a way that would be contrary to any type of understandable behavior? And so I think a person would have to ask oneself, What does this mean? Is there a God and is there a devil? And are they at war? And what is the condition of my soul? What do I need to deal with and what is inside of me? If you look at the nature of good and evil, there's good and evil in us all. Good, as a Christian see it is, sees it, is God and the resurre resurrection of Jesus Christ. And evil is the devil, the enemy, the animal enemy since the beginning of time. Jesus Christ came to earth to destroy Satan's influence in your life. Jesus ist auf die Welt gekommen, um Satans Einfluss in deinem Leben zu zerstören. But he can't destroy it if you don't admit that it's there. Aber er kann es nicht zerstören, wenn du nicht zugibst, dass du da ein Problem hast. That's why so many Christians suffer. Deswegen leiden so viele Christen. Sie geben nicht zu, dass sie den Teufel in ihrem Leben haben. Some of you have the devil inside you. Manche von euch haben den Teufel in sich. Don't look at me like that. Schaut mich nicht so an. I know better. Ich weiß es besser. You have the devil inside you. Ihr habt Dämonen in euch. You need to let this thing come up and stay up and take you over for a minute. All right. <laughs> let it come up. 
Let it stay up and let it take you over so that I can deal with it. You get up and face me. You get up and face me, Satan. Get up and face me. Who are you? Answer me. You can tell me who you are. Who are you? Answer me. Homosexuality. <laughs> You don't have any right to be there anymore. He doesn't want you, does he? Answer me! No. Well, then you have to leave him. You have to leave him. He doesn't want you there. Spirit of abuse and molestation, get up and face me. Get up and face me. Get up! Stay up! And look at me. You look at me. You're not just perversion. You're worse than that. You're an abomination. In the house of Almighty God. That's what you were. Get up, you spirit of abomination. Get up! Get up! Get up and face me. And stay up! Let it up. Let it up completely, Pite. Let it up completely. I want to get rid of it. You don't want it, do you? I hate it. So I don't want this thing. I, want, I don't want to have it. You can't keep me. Can't keep me. Come on, let's help him out. Say, we the people of God. Agree together. Agree together. To get rid of this spirit. Of this we love you, fight. We're sorry for what happened to you. Come on, speak up. Let him know. We're sorry for what happened to you. From the time I first became a Christian, I had an interest in the supernatural. It was just part of who I was. And I traveled all over the world as a young man and saw many strange sights of religions around the world, a lot of demonic activity. And I had a fascination with it. Not a bad fascination, but a good interest in it. And I studied it to see what was going on. And that led me into this kind of ministry. So people get the devil by what they do. Also Leute bekommen Satan durch das, was sie tun. By what their ancestors did. Oder durch das, was ihre Vorfahren getan haben. And by what's done to them. Oder durch das, was andere ihnen zugefügt haben. Many people who have been abused have demons. Viele Leute, die missbraucht worden sind, haben Dämonen. Especially those who have been sexually and physically abused. Besonders diejenigen, die sexuell und körperlich missbraucht worden sind. If you've been sexually or physically abused, wenn du körperlich oder körperlich oder sexuell missbraucht worden bist, and you haven't gotten help for it, und du hast keine Hilfe dafür bekommen, and you haven't gotten good counseling, und du hast keine gute Seelsorge da bekommen, there's a good chance you have a demon. Dann ist es da eine hohe Wahrscheinlichkeit, dass du einen Dämon hast. Of course you want to keep the thing suppressed under normal circumstances when you're not going through deliverance. You don't want to let it speak its will through you. But when you're going through deliverance, you've got to let the thing speak. All right. You've got to let it up. If you don't, you're going to keep it. A demon has a will. A demon has a personality. You can't get rid of a demon without dealing with the demon's will and the demon's personality. So if you suppress it, put it down, and don't let it show itself right now, it's going to stay there. This is a safe circumstance to express it because God's in control of this circumstance. Now, does that make sense to you? Yeah, the religious spirit talks out of me easily also from times to times, but uh, not the other ones. Well, they're all wrapped up, in my personal opinion, in a spirit of abomination. So I'm going to go after the spirit of abomination mm -hmm. and we're going to tie them all together and get rid of them all at once and get you on the road. Now you're going to need a lot more help and a lot more follow-up, but you need to get the right kind of deliverance and serious kind of deliverance from some of the people that we're involved with here and we can point you to do that. Mm -hmm. But right now it's safe for you to let this demon manifest. It's safe for you to let this demon show itself now. First of all, we have to make sure that you're a Christian. Erst müssen wir sicherstellen, dass ihr Christen seid. 
The devil isn't going to go until Jesus is inside. Weil Satan wird nicht gehen, bis Jesus nicht in dir drin ist. So we're all going to say this prayer. Wir werden alle zusammen dieses Gebet beten. I confess. Ich bekenne. That Jesus Christ. Dass Jesus Christus. Is the Son of God. Der Sohn Gottes ist. Crucified for my sins. Gekreuzigt für meine Sünde. Risen from the dead. Von den Toten auferstanden. I receive what he did at the cross. Ich empfange, was er am Kreuz getan hat. Shedding his blood for me. Sein Blut für mich vergossen hat. To forgive me of my sins. Um mir meine Sünden zu vergeben. Forgive me, God. Vergib mir, Gott. For all my sins. Für all meine Sünden. And come into my life. Und komm in mein Leben. To be my friend and my savior. Um mein Freund und mein Retter zu sein. Get up and face me. Get up, you spirit of abomination. Get up now. <lacht> Say, I abomination. I abomination. Break the curse. Break the curse. No, I want you to say a spirit. You say it. Now, let me explain to you what I'm doing here. If he says it in his will, it doesn't work. The demon has to say it. The demon has to agree to its doom, its destination, and to receive the judgment of God. So one of the challenges here is this demon has played games with him for so long, flipping back and forth like this, that you get the demon to start to say something, and then the demon submerges, and he comes back to himself, and the demon is escaping the judgment. So you just keep putting the pressure on. So, you know, you pray with me. You don't have to pray out loud, pray silently, but keep agreeing in prayer with me here that as the people of God, we're going to get this thing out. You took advantage of that little child in church. <laughs> you liked that, didn't you? But you're going to pay. You're going to pay, Satan. You're going to pay. You're going to pay. Get up and face me. Make it come up. Make it come up. Make it come up. Keep it, force it up, force it up, force it up. Keep it up like that, keep it up, keep it up like that. Don't let it go down, keep it up. Say, I abomination. I abomination. Renounce, renounce every right, every right. to this child of God. This child of God. Make it stay up, make it stay up, fight, make it stay up. Say, I receive. I receive. The wrath of God. The wrath of God. For what I've done. For what I've done. To this innocent child. To this innocent child. Do you have any more right to be there? No. Spirit. Any more right to be there? No. Then you have to go. Get, get him up. Now the first thing you have to do is erste, ask God musst, to forgive you of the things you've done. Das erste was du tun musst ist Gott um Vergebung zu bitten für die Dinge die du getan hast. Say God forgive me. Sage Gott vergib mir. For everything I've ever done. Für alles was ich jemals getan habe. Opening up my life to the devil. Wo ich mein Leben für Satan geöffnet habe. I renounce ich widerrufe every right I've given to the devil. jedes Recht, das ich Satan eingeräumt habe. And I close that door Und ich schließe diese Tür to my life. zu meinem Leben. Das nächste, was du tun musst, du musst mit dem mit any pain und hurt in deinem Leben Du musst dich mit jeder Verletzung und jedem Schmerz in deinem Anything Leben beschäftigen. Has done to you. Mit allem, was jemals dir jemand angetan hat. If you were raped, wenn du vergewaltigt incested, worden bist, wenn du von deinem, molested, innerhalb von deiner Familie beaten, sexuell belästigt worden bist, geschlagen worden bist, abused, missbraucht, unloved, nicht geliebt worden, rejected, abgelehnt, abandoned, verlassen worden, hurt by someone, von jemandem schlimm verletzt worden bist, And you haven't really forgiven. Und du hast wirklich nicht vergeben. And that hurt hasn't been healed. Und dieser Schmerz ist noch nicht geheilt. You need to forgive. Dann musst du vergeben. And let go of that. Und es loslassen. As long as you hold on to it. Solange du das festhältst. As long as you keep the anger and the bitterness. Solange du dich an dem Ärger und der Bitterkeit festhältst. The door is open to the devil. Ist die Tür zu Satan offen. We're going to make it go. Yes. And you're going to have a new life. Amen. Amen.
Amen. I mean a new life. Come on. Somebody besides me get a little excited here. Come on. You're going to get a new life. I'm here tonight in Stuttgart for you. I'm here for all of you. But I'm especially here for you. I want you to say one more thing. Say, I forgive. I forgive. The people of God. The people of God. The Church of Jesus Christ. The Church of Jesus Christ. And even that priest. And even that priest. For what he did to me. For what he did for me. It was evil. It was evil. It has ruined my life. It has ruined my life. I don't have to forgive him. I don't have to forgive him. I choose to forgive him. I choose to forgive him. Emotionally, you may not be able to do that. Von den Gefühlen her kannst du es vielleicht nicht tun. But by faith you can do it. Aber durch Glauben kannst du es tun. Here's what you need to say inside. Folgendes musst du in, der, in dir sagen. Lord, it's hard for me to forgive. Herr, es ist hart für mich zu vergeben. But by faith, Aber im Glauben I speak forgiveness spreche ich Vergebung aus to that person who hurt me. zu dieser Vergebung, die, zu dieser Person, die mich verletzt hat. In, Christ's name. In Jesu Namen. Amen. You spirit of religious abomination. He forgives. He forgives. Look at me, Spirit. He forgives. So you can't stay. Now, I'm going to go after this thing. And you keep pushing it up. Keep pushing it up. Don't let it go down. If you feel yourself coming back, push it right back up. Push it right back up. Just like that. Push it right back up and make it stay there. Make it stay there. Make it stay there. Now you're going to stay there now. You're going to stay there now. Say, I abomination. I abomination. I abomination. I abomination. Renounce. Renounce. Every right. Every right. To this man of God. To this man of God. Say it, abomination. You get up completely and face me. Get up and face me. Get up, abomination. Get up. Get up. Say, I receive. I receive. The judgment. The judgment. Of Almighty God. Of Almighty God. And I go. I go. I go. With all my kind. With all my kind. With all my kind. Say it. All my kind. All my kind. No, you say it, abomination. Say it, abomination. All my kind. All my kind. Now. Now. Two. I do. The. The. Pit. Come out of it. Come out. Go. 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 Pit. Go. 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 You go. You come out of it. Go! Oh. Uh, I think it's good. Well, I didn't do it.